so students the first stanza depicts i will arise and go now and go to in is free and a small cabin build there of clay and rattle spray i will get up right now and i would like to go to in is free and there i will build a small cabin that is made of the branches the fencing will be made of the branches of the tree and that i will make myself nine beans row well i have there a, a hive for the honey bee and live alone in the bee loud glade the poet is saying that nine bean row poet here that is a entirely imaginary aspect he is imagining that i will myself will plant nine bean row that means bean plant french bean you have seen in the market and you eat also so bean nine bean row there will be row nine rows of bean plant and live alone in be loud glen and i will live there all alone only the buzzing of the bees i will hear buzzing bees i will hear the buzzing of the bees and the second stanza depicts and i shall have some peace there for peace comes dropping dropping from the bells of the morning to where the cricket sings the poet says i will have intense peace i want intense peace a serene atmosphere no disturbance no noise no hustle and bustle of the city and peace comes peace will descend as drop this is also an imaginary aspect of poet peace will drop imagination of the poet poet that dropping slow slowly the peace will descend on earth dropping from the bells of the morning to where the cricket sings in the night the cricket will sing and here the poet he has <coughs> compared women's veil so when a woman he drops her veil that means it is night or dark and when she lifts her veil that means sunshine it is symbolic so dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings in the night cricket sing and gradually the morning it will arise cricket sing that means in the night and gradually morning will appear there midnight all glimmer and noon a purple glow i want to see the midnight stars a total silence everywhere that i want to enjoy and i would like to enjoy the noon also here the poet he has compared noon that is also an imaginary aspect that is purple glow noon will be purple it is an absurd word guys noon is not at all purple but the poet wants to go to the imaginary to an imaginary place where noon will descend as purple or it will be visible as purple color and evenings full of the linnet wings linnet a small bird known as linnet and evening will be filled with the chirrup or the chirping sounds of the linnet and stands a three i will arise and go now the repetition of the words i will arise i will get up now at once go now for always night and day that means always night and day night and day i will spend there in in a spring i hear the lake water lapping with the low sound by the shore water lapping sound on the shore sea shore the poet 
we can hear that i can hear that water lapping sound on the sea shore while i stand on the roadway or on the pavement green i hear it in the deep heart core the poet says that at at present or at this very moment i am standing on the grey pavement of london but a vision the poet is having a vision of a countryside place beside the shore sea shore now he is standing in london a noisy place crowded place amidst the crowd but he can see everything that means in in his free whatever is going on in in his free or whatever he likes he can see those scenes those sights of in his free so this is a very nice poem of wb eats as the victorian poet 19th century poet and he has revealed his feelings or he has <coughs> depicted his suffocation in london amongst the crowd amongst the noise through the lines of the poem to the readers that what does he want actually so guys on the basis of today i have explained the poem next day i will tell you the theme of the poem or the plot of the poem so on the basis of today's lecture guys you note down words and you have to write the meanings of the words 10 words i am going to give you so you please note down 10 words first word is cabin c a b i n second word is clay c l a y clay 